Okay, this video is looking at two-way frequency tables with more than two categories. So it's really important that you remember that a two-way frequency table just means that there are two ways, so columns and rows. Yeah, so having more than two categories is fine, but we're looking at two variables, level of education and smoking status in this instance, um, but it's two-way so that you can, like this, <laughs> two-way. Um, that you can have more than two categories. So we're just gonna have a look at these two. We've got a two-way table, a two-way frequency table, and um, percentage frequency table, actually. And then over here, I've got a segmented bar graph. So a segmented bar graph is really good when we're working with percentages, because as you can see, each of these bars represent 100%. But what we've done is we've segmented them out for the three different smoking statuses. So first of all, let's have a look at our table. So we've got our smoking status as the head of our rows. So we know that smoking status is our response variable. So whether you're a smoker, a past smoker, or have never smoked, that's the response. What we think explains whether you're a smoker, past smoker, or never smoked is level of education. So year nine or less, year 10 or 11, year 12, and university or tertiary. Now when we have a look over here at this segmented bar, Okay, we've got up here our key. So, never smoked is in the blue purple color, past smoker is in orange, and smoker is in pink. So, we can see that smoker is down the bottom here, past smoker in the center, and never smoked at the top. So, what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to just pause the video, um, preferably not when I'm making faces, <laughs> and just have a look at both the table and the graph and see if you can come up with an association between your smoking status and your level of education. Does your level of education explain your smoking status? So just pause the video now and have a go. Okay, so hopefully you paused, had a bit of a go at this. Um, what I'd like um, for your example is for you to copy the table and the bar graph, um, hopefully with a ruler so it looks straighter than mine, um, and then to actually have a bit of a, um, a go at writing this, exp um, this response. So if yours is already similar to mine, well done. If not, um, have a go at rewriting the stuff that I talk about now. So when we look at both the table and the bar, uh, segmented bar chart, we can see that there is an association between the two. Okay, so when we look at um, the smoking status percentage of adults who have never smoked, it tends to increase as the level of education increases. So you can see this bit here, which indicates never smoking, as the level of education increases, the number of people who have never smoked also increases. So basically it's lowest here of never smoking at 30%. It then increases for 10 and 11 to 34.5% who have never smoked. Then as we go to year 12, 42.6% have never smoked. And those that have actually attended university, 53.6% have never smoked. So we can also see that trend down here with the smokers. So you can see that the lower the, as, as your level of education decreases, the number of people or more, or the likelihood of you being a smoker increases, yeah? Could also say that as your level of education increases, the likelihood of you being a smoker decreases. So we can see that really clearly in the graph here. So those different patterns there, you can, see clearly from these and I really need you to practice being able to find those patterns and be able to actually communicate those patterns verbally in writing etc.